right, everybody. It is my pleasure to introduce you. Well, you already know who they are, they but to have <laughs> us, uh, yeah. have joining us now, <laughs> our great friends and new colleagues, Ryan Grimm and Emily Chashinsky, the co-hosts of Counterpoints, Counterpoints. launching tomorrow. Yeah. Welcome, guys. It's fun to be here. Yeah. yeah, this is your set now, too. So we have a few modifications for you. But that's right. Yeah, more or less right here. Well, that's true, and people will see the modifications tomorrow. So all the more reason to tune yeah. in. Big oh, reveal. Yeah. Oh, oh, big reveal. Big reveal. Point already. Modification <laughs> reveal. I didn't, yeah. even have to, I didn't even have to plug that one. Like, <laughs> let's go ahead and put this up there on the screen. We've been uh, hurriedly making new graphics. I love this particular graphic. This is going to be the widescreen. This is what we're going to have. Uh, in general, Emily, Ryan, uh, I sent you guys your new monologue templates. I think they look amazing. We've got a nice little bottom graphic. Everything's debuting. Yeah, tomorrow. Ryan's really got the smolder going on. He does. Here in that yeah. shot. I think that might be the best photo photograph, ever photograph for for real. Personally. It's a, it's Annie Leibovitz. <laughs> <laughs> Any Leibovitz or Ryan. <laughs> so tell us how you guys feel. We did a video like this uh, whenever we launched here on the KKF set. I'll never forget. It actually got a lot of views. So tell us how you guys feel to be here, uh, what you're most excited about, how exactly you want to change things up, keep things the same. Like, what are you thinking? Well, Ryan likes to talk about his feelings, so I think okay. this is... Right. How do you feel, Ryan? He's got kids. Well, I think, <laughs> so for, for better and for worse, and some in some ways for better, some ways for worse, back at, at Rising, the production staff, and very grateful for it, mm -hmm. did a ton of like prep work yeah. for us. So sometimes we could just roll in mm -hmm. and just <laughs> just do the show, like right, right or radar, but otherwise just kind of, all right, what do we got next? What do we got next? What yep. do we got next? Mm -hmm. uh, and what I'm looking forward to is crafting the show ourselves right? yeah. so that we're going to be picking. And also, you know, there's so much content that Rising puts out that sometimes you're kind of reaching. Yes. <laughs> that was one. We remember it Very well. Familiar. That was yeah. actually one of our big, um, you know, big reasons we wanted to make a similar move was that same thing because you just, you know, the model over there is just as much content as you possibly can. And I mean, we helped to create that model, yes, frankly, fine. because in the early <laughs> days, we're like, we just got to get this thing going. You got to feed the algorithm. But at a certain point, yeah, you're doing a segment and you're like, I don't care about this topic. <laughs> I don't think it's important for people to know about this topic. Like, I'm just, you know, it's not a good feeling to put things out in the world that you don't actually think are important. So that makes a lot of sense to me. Um, Emily, what did you guys think about in terms of the sort of like overall ethos of the show, your approach to it, the structure of it? What was sort of the thought that went into it? Well, and that's another thing I like about this model is that it's not just we get to sort of put our fingerprints on the what, what we're covering, but also yeah. how we cover it. Mm -hmm. So I like that we're going to be able to take a topic. For instance, I think we're going to talk about Ken Starr tomorrow mm -hmm. in the news. He passed away this week. And we don't have to do, you know, an eight-minute segment. We can actually, like, really say, what does this tell us about our politics? Yes. What does the arc of this man tell us about our politics? Mm -hmm. And spend a little bit more time going into different things um, and in ways that we want to go into them, even if they aren't perfect sort of news cycle uh, fits, right. mm -hmm. we can spend the time to give more context. Something I love about this format is, you know, a huge portion of the listenership is audio. And right. they're just going to listen to the entire thing. They don't have, they don't even necessarily care, like, or know what the headline is or whatever. And so they may just stumble into that Ken Starr segment and be like, wow, that's really interesting. I'd never learned about Ken Starr before, which is a fascinating figure in his own right. I'm mm -hmm. kind of jealous that you guys get to cover that. So what are some other things that you got, like in terms of programming? So it's going to be every Friday. Obviously, I'm assuming you'll just hit if there's some major, major news. Yeah. But what you guys have been doing over at Rising has been kind of the same thing, like taking a step back, looking at bigger uh, stories, like give some people a preview. You don't have to give everything, your whole right. rundown away, <laughs> but what are you guys thinking? It, and yeah, I think the format also allows you to go a little bit longer on the topics oh, that wait, really, right, right. really need it. Or if you're on a roll. Right. Like yeah. We would, yeah. Sometimes people like would be I'm, like, "If I'm winning you... and they're trying to shut it down, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, are you Ukraine, are you Ukraine invasion day? That was a 37 minute segment, and that's still that's one of right. the highest rated segments that this show has ever done. Mm -hmm. So right. just, just right. to show you, like if. If it's big news, people will watch people the hell out of it. it. Well, right. And sometimes people would say, like, what do you mean you have to yeah. run? Like, yeah. it's a, it's it's right. not cable. What are you talking about? Well, yeah, actually, you do. You have to run. They don't understand the scheduling. Right, and exactly. The guests right. and all that. You, we, we, exactly. And so we have it set up And here. just the, yeah, right. the churn and burn of, we know we've got 10 more segments we've got to do right. today. So exactly. we got to move yeah. on from this yeah. one because otherwise we're going to literally be here all day and the show will never get out. Right. So I think that flexibility is really important. I'm really excited to see you guys sort of put your 
spin on what the show looks like, what it feels like, what the vibe is, um, and you know the list of topics that you're you floated. Look, looking at the potential stock ban and things like that mm-hmm. are actually things that we didn't get around to covering this mm-hmm. week too. I know. Because yeah. Sometimes we now have the opposite problem of um, like there's more news in the week <laughs> than we're able to mm-hmm. get into the three days that we do the show. So it'll be great to have you guys in there on Friday. You know, there's a lot of news that's breaking Thursdays and Fridays now in the news cycle. So it'll be really useful. Yeah, and and I was and I was joking about like winning an argument, but what I what I like about the show is that it's actually not an argument mm-hmm. show. Like yes. one of the reasons we called it kind of counterpoints is like, here's a point. Yes. Here's a counterpoint. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, and now now we can now we can move on to the to the mm-hmm. next thing. We're not trying to actually win. And a lot of the times when I'm asking uh, Emily a question. Sometimes it's because I want to further the conversation. I know she has a good point to make, and I'm trying to like tee that up. Mm. Uh, about half the time, I, I genuinely don't know the answer, and I'm like curious. Like it's a real question. Yeah. Like an authentic, actual <laughs> question. Yeah, not like it a comes debate through. bro yeah. People get vibe it. of right. like I'm gonna own you. Right. With- not trying to tr- move yeah. you into a corner, and then oh, you've said this thing. Now they'll now by your logic. Logic you know, chokehold. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, it's like yeah. actually we have two people here who are both thoughtful and have different opinions, and like let's work through that in real time. I mean, that's I think why we felt really comfortable bringing you guys onto the channel, which yeah. is something that we are kind of like a little nervous about, reluctant Initially, about. Initially, well, not even about you, just the No, idea. not about you guys Expansion. in general, but yeah. the idea of it. Um, I mean, number one, you guys have been an important part of helping to create Rising and make it what it was, helping to create breaking points and making it what it was. Like, mm-hmm. you guys were original friends of the show on, you know, the <laughs> election panels yes. and all that yeah. stuff <laughs> over at Rising. So we obviously have a great level of comfort with you, but we also felt like you really get the that kind of core ethos of like you know i think at our best my ideal goal for the show is to be able to show that we can disagree mm-hmm. and it's okay and it's, it doesn't have to like break apart the union and, yeah. <laughs> and i do i Fine. do feel like yeah if i can't have yeah. like a, a act, like a real hard disagreement with sagar and be able to like work through that then what hope is there for the country at large so yeah. that's kind of you know always been my best hope for this show and what I think you guys have really demonstrated a great ability to do in good faith as well over um, at Rising. And so we're excited to have you here. We're excited too. And people are smart. Like if you sh- like if you show people the same contrast that you want to get to, as Ryan's talking about, like I actually want to know what's different here yes. and what's the same. Yeah. Like that's what I feel like all of us need. Like me as a viewer, it's the thing that I love about Breaking Points. Like viewers don't need to be handheld. Like CNN tries to handhold people mm-hmm. from point A to point B so you and exactly not let what in you think. any other differing view. Exactly, they're yeah. gatekeepers. But like, we just have a conversation and try to get to what, what the actual contrast is, and then we can all think about what the road forward looks like. It really comes through people. It's the thing that people love the most about the show. And and when, every time I meet them, you know, sometimes some of the things people say are like really heavy. Where they're like, "You really improved my relationship with my dad, mm-hmm. with Crystal." I was like, "Jesus, dude, I'm like, <laughs> we, that's great. Don't put like, that on lot. me." Yeah, but, it's yeah. like we found a way to be able to talk about these things where we don't just like hate. Yeah. Each. He's like, "I'm more like right. Crystal." He's like, "But." You made me understand like what my dad means whenever he said. I was like, "Wow, that's, <laughs> that's a heavy responsibility." And, pe- and people are people are starting to get it. And actually, the like, the corporation that bought Hill yes, the Hill yeah. Hill TV Next Star, called right. Next Star, they actually have the right diagnosis. They uh-huh. think that cable news is completely broken and people don't trust it anymore. Their solution is wrong. Like the, the solution, <laughs> Cuomo, you mean? They're coming <laughs> yeah. forward. It's like we're gonna we're yeah. gonna be the ones who are down the middle and, <laughs> right. and fair. Mm. That does that doesn't work. That yeah. doesn't scan to either side. Right. right. So their diagnosis is right, but I think the answer is give people options. Like yes. give give people different viewpoints and then let them decide for themselves. I I talk to a ton of people who watch CNN, Fox, and MSNBC mm-hmm. because they want to get because they don't trust any of them, but they think if they get enough of the different viewpoints then they can decide for themselves. And here we're just kind of yeah. doing that That's all in one place. Op, it's good for people. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's good for people Actually, to I've not two mostly. I be haven't. in ideological bubbles. Like it's good. It's like sometimes I wish Sagar would just agree with me on everything. <laughs> but <laughs> but we'll get him there. I know There's ultimately no it's There's no fun in that. Like it, there is no fun in that. And yeah. I, I mean I get a lot out of our exchange. I get out a lot a lot out of preparing for our exchanges because mm-hmm. I know I'm not gonna just have somebody mm-hmm. there who's gonna amen me on everything everything and is actually going to challenge me. So I have to bring like the best argument that I possibly can. And it's caused me to like rethink some of the ways that I approach my, you know, my views, my values and Mm -hmm. the way that I want to, you know, live in this world and approach politics. So 
I think it's a beneficial thing. Obviously, we believe in it. We have seen you guys, you know, living a lot of the same values and are just excited to see what you are putting together or honored that you have um, decided to yeah, join Thank us. you excited. for always choosing us, yeah, really. We're, <laughs> yeah, no, we're, it, we're honored by it. I yeah. think I, we mean it when it's, yeah. we say that it's an honor for us because what you guys have built here, I think, is so important. I, I've covered it at the Federalist, like how important this is. So it's truly an honor, um, and we're very excited. It's not us. Awesome. It truly is all about them. Uh, sure. As we have no. said, mm-hmm. we've got a 90, uh, a 10%, I keep saying 90, 10% discount <laughs> for the <laughs> annual. 90%. Right. You get 90%. 10% is off. 10% <laughs> is off. Let's throw the graphic up there one more time. Counterpoints for the annual membership. It helps fund this, other expansion, status quo, the reporting, to be able to send reporters to wherever anything is happening. Yeah. By the way, you guys will benefit from that. You'll have live footage. Oh, awesome. If you ever want to dispatch Jordan or anywhere, or, or one of his cameramen, great we can stuff. help, and we, yeah. can, we can send a reporter out onto the ground and have exclusive footage like we did at Jackson. This stuff costs a lot of money, guys. You know, the yeah. studio, the technical, the graphics, the reporting, uh, all the other contributors. Max had that awesome railway segment. Yeah. These things are things that you alone are funding can never rely on the YouTube and Spotify gods to just show up for us <laughs> one day. So thank you all so much. We've got that link in the description and we they will see you all yes, tomorrow. tomorrow. And uh, yeah. it will be distributed. So their show will come out just like ours does. Yep. There's no extra price for whatever. You're a yes, premium m- member. You're going to get it just like you get um, breaking points. So you know, it'll be in your inbox. I think at show. noon, right? We're, noon is the yeah, starting no. point. So yeah. for premiums, it will come out at noon for everybody else, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, so California people, don't worry. You'll still watch it in the morning. Yes. I don't want to hear about it. Indeed. <laughs> okay. So good luck tomorrow, yeah. guys. We're very excited. Excellent. Thanks, All right. We, and then Crystal and I are going to meet Atlanta. So yes. that'll be fun. Uh, and if we feel like it, maybe we'll put some clips out of it. Stay tuned. We'll see how it goes. We'll see you guys later. <laughs>